Hey, what's going on MP Nation? Video log number two. So what today we're gonna to go over is the clean eating for putting on muscle. And so I wanna just give you guys a rundown on kind of what I eat on a regular basis. And this would be when I'm not necessarily getting ready for a photo shoot or a show or whatever it is. I try to float around 10, 12, maybe 15 pounds outside of what I am when I do my photo shoots. I like to carry just a little bit extra weight so I can push weight a little bit heavier in the, in the weight room. And most of you guys know I do a lot of volume type of workouts, but just because there's volume doesn't mean I'm not moving some heavy iron at the same time. And so what I like to do is a lot of you know higher reps, but still pretty heavy weight. And so when I'm doing that, I tend to eat a little bit more lower glycemic carbohydrates, some fruit, obviously protein, some nuts with for the good fats. And so I'm going to give you a little rundown on really the kind of quality of food that I'm eating on a regular basis. And basically I went up to my fridge, grabbed a bunch of stuff out of it and brought it to show you guys today. And so when I mean uh, regular proteins, that never really changes a whole bunch. Um, everything from canned tuna fish to organic chicken, organic beef, turkey, um, quality foods like that is usually for my lunches and dinner. Um, when I say low glycemic carbohydrates, um, sweet potatoes, oatmeal, brown rice. Literally, I mean straight out my cupboard right there. Uh, low glycemic carbohydrates are carbohydrates that don't spike your insulin super high. And so that helps you from gaining body fat, but also will help replenish the muscle as you're putting it through you know, some pretty rigorous training, especially stuff that we're putting out. When I look at my fruits um, that I eat a lot of times on my snack meals, I usually tend to stay more towards berries that have the high antioxidants, blueberries, Today I got black raspberries. Um, I also do throw some in post-workout from time to time, some bananas or apples, which glycemic levels are a little bit higher, but it seems to be that I can do pretty well. Um, my body responds pretty well to those two fruits too. Um, when it comes to my greens, I pretty much think anything green that goes with your lunch or dinner or something that you're snacking on is pretty cool. Um, fresh green beans, because they're crunchy. Um, I just had this leftover broccoli. Or a lot of times, I just cut up a cucumber and just eat a cucumber for a snack um, or eat with my lunch and dinner. Uh, when I'm looking to my fats, uh, avocado is always an amazing fat for you. Um, but probably my staple is almonds. Almonds are one of those foods that, for me personally, I get a good bit of energy off of. I use them when I'm dieting and when I'm, uh, and when I'm putting muscle on both, you know. And it seems like my body responds well to almonds. So that's a staple for me um, on both phases. Also, what I like to throw in, um, which fills you up real well, is uh, organic beans. Most of the time, just black beans. Sometimes I'll do a mixture. But a lot of times, I'll eat beans as a third uh, thing with my lunches or dinner just to kind of keep my, my stomach a little bit fuller. It seems like when they're breaking it down that you're not as hungry. And so, and then between that, you know, I usually start the day off with uh, organic cage-free eggs. Um, I'm a huge whole egg advocate. I always have been ever since I met Dr. Serrano and Dr. Mario Di Pasquale. They hit me to whole egg, especially for a drug-free athlete. I believe the fats in them are, are very good for you and it's aided my performance by far when I went from egg whites to whole eggs and usually just eat three, four whole eggs a day, which is okay. Um, for your basic proteins, Combat, awesome blend of protein with digestive enzymes. What I like about Combat and the reason why digest so well is when you have the digestive enzymes, it helps break down the different well, lactase, it helps break down lactose. It just, uh, you don't really create any type of gas on the protein. You get, you absorb it well, it's a great blend of protein. Um, and then casein also has the dig digestive enzymes in it, we take, I take before bed. And so these are the kind of the nuts and bolts and basics of what I eat on a regular day. And so now I'll kind of go over how I segment them or where I put them at in my day. And so if I get out of bed to go um, up early to train, which you guys most know that's like my thing, I get up like at 3.45 every morning, I go and put the workouts for you guys up. On my way to put the workouts up for you guys, I'm usually grabbing one scoop of combat in water, or I'll grab um, that plus 20 branch chains and um, or a muscle gel and that, head to my computer. I'm literally putting the workout together, putting it up so that I can go to the gym and do it just like you guys. Um, when I get to the gym, I take my staple, obviously a salt, usually hybrid NO, train hard. As soon as I'm done training, depending on whether I'm trying to put size on or is a really, really rigorous workout, which most of them are, I'll, I'll take some recon. If not, usually I'll go amino one when I'm dieting, 
just because of the carbohydrates. So a lot of times I'm using amino one intra anyway, and then I'll follow it up with recon. Usually instead of taking combat right then, my next, my first meal basically is my post-workout meal, um, especially when I'm putting on some size. Then I'll go to my eggs. And so I've had combat first already in my stomach. I've trained on assault, taken recon, taken amino one, right to my eggs, usually three to four whole eggs. And then I'll co combine that with a low glycemic carbohydrate. Usually in the morning that's oats. And so I've already trained for an hour and a half. I've already had good nutrition with the protein. And then I'll go, boom, oatmeal and some eggs. Uh, the oatmeal is not, not really flavored. I mean, it's just straight up oatmeal. I don't get too cute on that stuff. Um, for this phase, I just kind of keep it like that. So let's say that's at 7 o'clock um, a.m. 10 o'clock is usually where I have my snack meal. A snack meal for me is usually a combination on this phase of combat, boom, two scoops of water, some type of fruit, some type of berries, usually not mixed in. I just usually just eat the berries, one or two servings, and then I'll add a fat for that too, which will usually be almonds. And so you're getting, you know, a little bit of uh, sugary carbs, you're getting some protein, you get some almonds. Third meal into lunch, um, some type of protein, let's say it could be tuna fish, right into a fat, it could be avocado or almonds, or a different kind of a different kind of nut, a walnut or something, and then into a green, fresh green beans. Or if you don't want to use the fats, you can go then to another low glycemic carbohydrate, where you could go tuna fish and a sweet potato and greens, or tuna fish, avocado and a sweet potato with no greens. You can kind of mix or match and really just see how your body does. The key is is why we're doing this phase is to make sure that you're putting on some muscle and not putting on a bunch of unwanted body fat. Moving into the fourth meal, which would be the afternoon snack, back to combat again, boom, two scoops of water. Um, and usually at that point of the day, I'll just go to a fat. So most of the time it's combat and almonds. Then we move into dinner. Dinner's the same way. I'll usually have beef, chicken, turkey. Most of the time, white meat. I don't eat a lot of red meat. I do eat it maybe once, once a week. Um, go into, uh, let's say I have turkey. And then I'll also have a green. Could be a chopped up cucumber. Could be broccoli. Could be whatever. And then normally, that um, I'll use rice or sweet potato with that meal too. And so this is very similar to the Get Swole plan. I mean, basically, that's what it is. You have a good quality, low glycemic carbohydrate with your three major meals. Your snack meals are protein, but also consisted of usually some type of um, carbohydrate that burns fast or with uh, some type of fat. And then at nighttime, which would be kind of like a six meal, um, I'm taking casein before bed, two scoops. And, and here's one thing that I learned off of um, Jack Lane by reading his book is that he said that he liked sugar just like anyone else. And to keep himself out of the cupboards, um, and eating quality food, a lot of times he would make one meal of, uh, or one snack of just berries at the nighttime. And so uh, there's been a lot of research lately that said if you spike your insulin before you go to bed, it's actually a good thing for your hormones, which I would have to believe in. So if you're spiking your hormones, but with a quality carbohydrate, like a, a high antioxidant fruit, and then you're taking your casein and maybe your ZMA or your Bulletproof before you go to bed, you're setting up a pretty good environment for your body to heal up. And so that's one thing I took from him, and it seemed that I was able to um, keep myself from eating a bunch of crap at night, which I, I'm pretty resilient to that anyhow, but a lot of people aren't. And so if you have something you can kind of look forward to, I think that works out real well. And so just to recap, you got your breakfast with a low glycemic carbohydrate post-workout. You got your afternoon snack, boom, boom. Combat with some uh, almonds and maybe an apple. Uh, for lunch, let's say chicken, uh, brown rice, and um, you know some type of green, which would be a green bean. Afternoon snack, I usually go combat and almonds, or it could be muscle gel and almonds, which is awesome whenever I'm traveling. Dinner time, it's usually low glycemic um, protein and a and a and a green. One, the sixth meal would be a casein, and then some type of berries, just if I need that kind of like sugary kind of fix or whatever. So the key to this whole thing is, I want to, wanted to show you guys that it's really not that difficult. You need to eat quality food to get quality results. The cliche thing that you are, what you eat is kind of funny, but if you eat crap, you're probably gonna get a kind of a crap result. If you eat quality foods, and you know, a lot of people say, well, when the heck am I gonna eat pizza? Or when am I gonna do this? Why can't I eat ice cream? Um, what I would say is there's some diet plans that are set up to where you eat 
kind of crappy stuff at night and it works for some people. But what I try to do is on my leg day, uh, maybe have a meal that's a little bit higher in calories like that post-workout like it, or at nighttime. That, that's kind of like a cheat meal, I guess you could say, or a meal that you earned as um, uh, Dulce or Jim Stefani happened to say. Uh, and then maybe on the weekends, if you're trying to put on some serious size, maybe that's when you have uh, maybe a beer and pizza. You know, this for the most part is super regimented, but this is, for me personally, is not set up for what I do to get ready for a shoot. I personally can't eat a lot of carbohydrates when I'm getting leaner, and so I have to tweak this down. But the base is so quality that if you're training hard, like I'm putting out with the volume, and you're eating clean like this, you're going to put on some muscle you're gonna look good, you're gonna be full, and you should feel great. And so, um, I just wanted to go over that for you guys. Hopefully it helps. I'm excited about these video logs. This is video log number two, the clean eating for muscle. I'll see you soon, MP.